Now consider Europa, Jupiter's icy moon. There could be life in the ocean beneath it, where sunlight never reaches. The aliens there would be transparent and boneless, like jellyfish or giant amoebas. They would have a blue glowing liquid inside them, their blood, which would generate energy through chemical reactions. They would have no eyes because there is no light. They would feel through vibrations and magnetism. When an alien moved, a faint blue light would emanate from its body, as if a thought were flowing through the darkness of the ocean. And on some planets, the gravity would be so low that the aliens there would float in the air. Their bodies would be long, thin and light. They would not have wings, but their muscles would have hydrogen-filled sacs that would keep them aloft. They would communicate with each other through sound, and their language would be ultrasonic, inaudible to human ears. But on planets with very high gravity, aliens would be the exact opposite. Small, fat, strong and solid. Their joints would be strong, so they wouldn't break under the pressure. Their feet would be small and strong, with a crunchy metal-like texture. Their skin would be thick, dark and matte, so that light could be absorbed and used to generate energy. They wouldn't float in the heavy gravity, but would burrow into the earth, as if life were being born from within the rocks.